All right, let's have a look at the back end of SoundCloud and find out what kind of information you need when you upload a new track. So just so you know, you know, if you need to upload a new track, you can just click on Upload, just choose File, we'll go and choose your file and do stuff there. But I'm just going to do it with a track that's already on my SoundCloud so that I don't have to... Uh, you know, we don't have to wait for the track to upload or anything. Okay, so these are the parameters that you'll have to fill out. The title of the track. Here you can even edit the, um, you know, the URL. You'll have to select a principal genre. So in this case, I chose soundtrack. You can add an, an image, which is great. It's always nice. Um, and here you have additional tags. So these would be your keywords, your moods, your style, your instrumentation, whatever you think is more relevant to this particular track. Um, remember, the idea is you want to pe you want people to find your tracks. So if someone is looking for keywords, you know, searching the SoundCloud database, uh, you want your track to appear when it's relevant. Just so you know, SoundCloud is our 30, 30 key, keywords. You go to that limit and push that limit, you know, get, get those 30 keywords in. Um, so here, if I added, um, you know, intense, I'll add it again. It won't add it, you know, you can use up to 30 tags, so I need to delete it. Description, you have also, um, you know, a description field where you can, you know, you can add a few keywords in there uh, if you haven't had enough um, right here. So remember your description, you know, you, you want it to be appealing, you want it to be intriguing, or maybe you just want to, you know, describe the entire track. That's not my approach, but, um, you know, you get to decide what, how you want to do it. You can make the, pri the track public or private. So what I do is sometimes I'll upload the same song like 10 times uh, and have you know, set set it on private, so then I'll send it to 10 different people and I can tell when it's been played by a particular person, because, uh, you know, you, you, you can see plays. Um, that's it. Then the metadata, does it contain music? Yes, no, because you have a lot of podcasts in, uh, on SoundCloud. Artist name, publisher, ISRC, so that is the you know number that's used to to track um, the the audio file. It's usually provided by your distributor or your record label if you're signed. Composer, release title, uh, by link. So you can actually I forgot to add it here. You can actually uh, link to the purchase link on you know on the Apple Store, for example, uh, on the iTunes Store, I should say. Um, and or you know your website if if you're if you have a function to sell your tracks in on your website, album title, record label, release date, uh, the ISWC number is provided by your performance rights organization, and that is also a reference number for your so we can you know identify your track, a barcode you could have. Uh, P line, so it's a notice to identify the owner of the rights in the original sound report recording, so the masters. Um, so in this case, actually, I can um, I can add. So what was the? Okay, yeah, just that less music. Ex contains explicit content. No license. All rights reserved. Permissions. You can enable downloads. Uh, you can enable offline listening, you can include in an RSSS feed, so that might be useful if you, if you have a website where you have a blog, you could, um, um, you know, you could add that RSS feed so that every time you upload a new track on SoundCloud, it's automatically on your website. If you use tools like Meet Edgar, or Social B to, um, you know, to post automatically for you on Facebook, Twitter, any social media. You could include that RSS feed as well, so that every time there's a new track published on your SoundCloud, it automatically uh, pushes a, you know, post on your social media. 
display embed code. That's if you want to enable people to embed uh, your track in um, in their website. So which can be cool. That's a way to get additional play uh, plays. You can enable the app playback to make sure that it's playable outside of SoundCloud in its app. So that's it for the basic settings. I don't have a pro plan with uh, with SoundCloud. And that's the information um, you need here. You see all the metadata, you see the description, and that's it really. Hope you enjoy this. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to hit me up on creativeandproductive.com and I'll get back to you ASAP, which you know means a few days, sometimes a week or two, but I get back to you. All right, bye.